Okay, buddy. Are we gonna play frisbee? Oh! Uh, it's right next to you, you dingus. Hey there. So it is Wednesday. Yeah, did you see it? There it is. There it is. There it is. Ah! Ah, we touched. Ah! It is Wednesday. And um, yeah, the storm is kind of coming in. I guess this is the leading edge of it. Hasn't gotten windy yet. Uh, we're supposed to have a wind event with gusts to 50 mile an hour. Uh, come the wee hours of the night. I don't know what I'm going to do with puss. Um, so I've been watching all these different weather forecasts because everybody's saying snow, snow, snow on the valley floor. Yeah, I'll believe it when I see it. Uh, I kind of believed it when Noah said it, the National Weather Service said it. I don't believe it. Uh, I think it's going to possibly rain. I'm even seeing that the rain's going to be spotty. So, I don't even know what to believe. Around here, it's just easier to look out the window and you'll see what the weather's doing. Um, just in case, though, because of the winds, uh, because of the winds, I'm going to make some more dog food. Just in case we have power outages, because that's one thing you can always depend on around here is PG&E turning your, wind, your your power off because of the wind. Um, after all the touch, touch, yeah. After all the fires and deaths, they turn it off for the slightest breeze. You want to go in, bud? Inside? Hold on. Ooh. Oh, now someone's screaming because they had to go inside. Yeah. Woo! We don't want to hit your tooth and hurt you again, huh? Oh, yeah, you're a frisbee. Yes, now we're happy. Um, yeah, so we'll see. I'm not worried about anything. The only thing that really pissed me off is, you know, I love raking. And I have been raking. And it's kind of lame because then the winds are going to come and blow all my raking around. But I guess on the good side, that means I get to rake some more. The only other thing that really ticks me off is that um, I took all that leaf cover off. All the old leaves from winter, I took off of the plants and the roots, thinking, you know, it was 70 this weekend. I was sweating. And, uh, and now they have no protection. I mean, I guess I could take my rake piles and throw them over them till it's gone. But, huh. so hopefully it freezes the Skeeters, but I know it won't. Um, and I got some filming of the plant shorts done. Have a couple more, but some uh, little fuzzballs I know won't be quiet when I'm filming. <coughs> um, the only thing you can depend on around here is PG&E turning your power off like I said so I'm trying to get all that stuff done getting uh, bottled water getting um, coffee made uh, luckily well the coffee pot took a shit and died they all do um, they just don't make them well anymore uh, so we have bottles of Trader Joe cold brew I'm not a big fan of it I like the stock better I need to go get some um, if the fridge goes off that's fine we have a generator so it's not a big deal it's just it's a pain for my back to have to fill it with gas every few hours um if the gas can is you know it's like a five gallon gas can if it's it, it's just at a height that really bothers my back i need to learn how to do it though because in finland i i do want to live in a mulki and i will probably need a generator at times so just gotta buck up and get used to it right right <sighs> almost had to go to the er the other day um but i didn't say anything to my partner because uh, the last thing i need is stress uh, and when when you tell someone who doesn't have the disease that you might need to go to the er but you're not sure because there's like kind of a cross a line 
you're going to cross and then you know you need to go in. Um, I'm very in tune with my body, but I have to remain calm. And when other people get stressed or nervous or anxious or panic or whatever, that creeps into me and it shatters my calmness. So I tend to not say anything until I just calmly say, I need to go to the ER now. Or I'll just call 911 if I'm alone. Um, so he's a little miffed at me because I didn't tell him. But, you know, the doctor and I had a very long discussion. That was when he said, I think you need to move. You guys need to go um, as soon as you can. Uh, because the, the stress-induced attack I had, which was the last one, um, that one was scary to me, even. Someone who's had this since they were 27, that really frightened me. I, it was hard to um, sense it coming. And when it did come, it was bad. It was bad. And of course, then I went to the wrong hospital and it, it just made it worse. So, um, yeah, I don't, I don't want that to happen. I can tell it's going to be stress induced. I wake up, my teeth hurt because I'm clenching all night. I can taste blood in my mouth. Um, I'm sure I've cracked another tooth. <sighs> um, I don't feel overtly stressed when I'm awake. But the reaction is lurking. I can feel it, but then I go and mellow out. Of course, my little barking constantly does not help. Um, so I've been just going around, checking out my little new plant friends, looking stuff up. That is not ladylike, ma'am. Ladies don't drool. Hello? Hello? Ladies don't drool. Okay. Thank you. That's why we carry Kleenex. <coughs> um, yeah. So I'm, I'm trying to keep myself occupied and my mind busy so that I don't have an attack because I don't have anyone to watch these guys if I was in ICU for a week. <sighs> so... Um, yeah, I think we just need to listen to the doctor and, and go. Um, one fun thing I noticed. Oh, wow. So these, uh, horrific weeds I told you about, um, I, don't know, I, I haven't made a short on them yet because seriously, they are mind blowing. It's going to take a big video to talk about them. But uh, the, the red stem crane bill weed. Uh, oh, look at all the baby blue eyes. Look at them all. They're all coming out. Look at them. Look at them. Aren't they beautiful? Look at that one. That one's like all the way open. They're just, they're everywhere. They are so beautiful. But I had said that the... The crane bill will... Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at those guys. Hi. 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 Um, the crane bills are coming out. And when they pop open... Oh, look at those. Uh, when they pop open, the crane bill it will make a carpet of pink and red. And just wait. Look at all I don't know why I whisper. See, there's baby blue eyes in here. The chickpeas, the miner's lettuce. They all have little tiny flowers. Aren't they adorable? Look at, look at the miner's lettuce flowers. The little chickpea daisies. They're just adorable. And they're, everything, everything is blooming. So now that I'm looking for the patches I found, <laughs> I swear to God, all I see are baby blue eyes. Oh, up by the fence, I think. Hold on. Ha <laughs> ha. Here's where it begins. Okay, so there's one. So then as I'm walking up here to do a, a short on this little manzanita shrub I found, 
where are they? I started finding, oh, there they are. So here they start. And everywhere I looked, there's pink, pink, pink. Those are them everywhere, okay? Just, they just started coming out. And look at this, they're, they're literally popping up everywhere. That's how many, each one of these, will, each flower will put out like six of the, the horrible corkscrew thorns. And just wait till you see them, they're awful. But yeah, I noticed them all up here. Everywhere you look, you'll just see like the, the petals on the ground because they're falling out. I don't know why. Because they want to become little daggers. But yeah, they, they popped up yesterday. And then you have the baby blue eyes. They're just so cute. So adorable. They're just, they're really a beautiful little flower. They look like a little orchid. Even though we mowed, look at all that, that burr weed. These light patches of fairy looking, feathery, cute little guys. But everywhere you see that light green, patches of this burr weed and it's invasive. <sighs> now that I'm looking things up, I, it's weird. I'm like, oh, I'm stepping on a this and a that. <sighs> but at least we learn things. Look at, look at how bright it is in comparison, like to the grass. Look at this. Isn't that amazing? It is, it is just brilliant. Look at that. Never even knew what it was. But I can now tell you it's everywhere. So here's the little burrweed. And as you can see, oh no, it's windy. They're going to blow around. But it's, it's quite small here. It said it could grow fairly tall for a carpeting type weed. But yeah, it's, it's a kind of a pretty little thing. But not a good thing to have. Where are we going? Huh? Where you want to go? Where you want to go? You want to go inside? No. You just want me to come over here. Okay. Okay. Want to go sit on your lounge? Let's go sit on lounger. Okay. All right. I'll give you a ride. How's that? Woo! Woo! We're flying. We're flying. We're flying through the air to the lounger. Woo! There you go, waggy wags. Aren't you happy now that you got brushed? Yes. Oh dear, brother's not happy. Look at, look at, here's your ball. And look, look, can we see you through here? Hello. Oh, who's that? Who's that? Oh. There you go. So, I'm going to go back and get ready for the storm, make some dog food, and then start some baked potatoes. I don't know why that just sounds good. Cheesy baked potatoes. Uh, and figure out if we need anything. Probably not. Um, and then, oh, wow, there's a cow over there. They don't have cows. Um, and so I'll see you tomorrow. I will upload day before yesterday's vlog. Uh... Let's see if it uploads. Let's see if anything uploads. Maybe the glitch is over. All right. Toodles.